give us in a nutshell, how did we get to this pass? Because there was a time when Steve Bannon and Donald Trump were joined at the hip. Well, I, I think what's happened over the last year is that both Trump and Bannon believe that they are responsible for Trump's election and that they are the leaders of the nationalist movement that elected Trump. Uh, you know, Bannon has been frustrated with Trump almost since the first weeks of the administration didn't think he could focus on the task at hand, didn't think a lot about his intellect or his political skills, uh, and eventually, as you know, David, he was pushed out of the White House. He has continued to go out and campaign publicly, Bannon has, uh, claiming that he, what he's doing is carrying the Trump mantle forward. But what he was really doing, I think, is building up his own political brand in hopes that he could advance this movement beyond just Donald Trump. And Bannon had even talked to friends speculating about, well, if Trump decides not to run a Again in 2020, I, Steve Bannon, may run for president. So talk about that brand. Talk about that movement. Is it real? Does he have a following, Steve Bannon, in of himself? And could he take that following and take it away from Donald Trump? I mean, he prides himself as being, I think it's ec an economic nationalist, right? Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's not clear who this movement really belongs to. Um, th there, there is certainly a, a sentiment within the Republican Party and within the country uh, that supports the ideas that Donald Trump ran on and that Steve Bannon advanced, the ideas of uh, economic populism, of a kind of anti-immigrant right-wing nationalism. And we saw from the results of the presidential election uh, that that has a lot more salience than people would have imagined two years ago. Uh, Trump has not been particularly faithful to the agenda he campaigned on. If you look at the tax reform bill, very heavily slanted toward corporations, toward the, toward the wealthy, much less so blue-collar workers. So Trump has been willing to break with this base, and Bannon, I think, sees himself as the rightful inheritor of those ideas. And what he'd really been doing over the last couple months was going out into the country, campaigning for other politicians, and trying to essentially build a splinter movement within the Republican Party. He said was loyal to Trump, uh, but was really, I think, about Bannon, elevating Bannon's own political power. So we're going to see over the next couple of weeks. Do voters stick with, with Steve Bannon and these ideas, or are they more loyal to Donald Trump? I suspect uh, that Trump is going to be the bigger draw here, but we'll see. 